the AP lumbar on the table, supine. So the first thing we want to do is line up our x-ray tube so it lines up, it matches up exactly with the size of the, the film down here. Now I can look at my patient and say, well she's not all that tall. I don't need to have the beam going beyond the edges of the film. So I'm just collimating in a bit either side, central lock on the table, bang, it sort of stays in there. And then we just have to work out where our lumbar spine is. There's the ASIS just there. We I mean, just sort of say that, that is correct there. Open up just a tiny bit wider just to include the SOJs. And that's our first position there. Of course, I've asked her in advance if she is pregnant or not, and she said no. <laughs> okay, so that's my, my AP. I'd like to roll. Postural positioning is essential to get reliable, accurate x-rays that are perfect every time. If you just rely on luck, just getting someone to lie on their side, just hoping for the best, you might get a perfect x-ray one in every three. I tend to get the perfect x-ray nine out of every ten times. The only time I don't get a perfect x-ray is when someone has a serious spinal problem like scoliosis or something. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that the pelvis is tilted as much as it possibly can this way, make sure the shoulders are tilted as much that way. I'm trying to introduce as much curve as I can possibly introduce into the spine. So I'll just push down the hips this way, lift up the shoulders that way. Not very much, it just has to be enough so that the posture then is a natural form posture. As soon as you have that, there is very, very little variation between women. And there's very little variation between men. Women always have a bit more of an angle down. In this, in this lady's case, I'm going to use about 10 degrees angling down. And I'm going to make sure that my collimation is set to the size of the film. We've already, when you go out, you can see the collimation is in fact set to the size of the film, within the size of the film. I'll go back into the central position, the knot's there for me. I pull them in sideways. I touch the crest there to know exactly where our anatomy is. And I know from that proportion where the anatomy will be. Now, we are collimating inside the skin edge by quite a long way because I don't need to expose the, the flesh at the back. And I'm also, I'm using this piece of aluminium is a filter to put across the crest, across the, the, the I'm trying to position this so that it runs um, parallel to the sacrum, so that I'm reducing the dose to the ovaries. And in that situation there, that is about the right position. I'll just sort of show you a bit of a closer sort of look about where I'm putting that aluminium in relation to the crest. So I know that if I do that, the aluminium won't be superimposed over something that's important but it will be a good x-ray.